Hi, here we are going to see how to do configuration in Dixie 5. This is the SLD. In this we have one isolator, one breaker and one air switch. The isolator and breaker are going to operate by motor operation and the air switch is done by mechanical. And we have mechanical interlock between breaker and isolator. This is the closing and opening circuit. First, we see closed circuit. In that, we have local and remote switch. When you put the switch in local, we can close by TNC switch through interlocks. When we put the to remote, we can close by only relay by IED through soft logic. For opening, can be done in both local and remote and also through production trip. The production trip is given parallel to opening coil. The production trip will operate through lockout relay. Open the relay file and expand the information routing. Over here we are going to configure First, I am going to configure for breaker input status. That means breaker open and close status. For that, I expand breaker blocks and then you can able to see the point position in that. My binary input is 1. So I am going to configure on 1. Over that, I go for right click and you can see OH that means open with high voltage and second input I am going to configure for CH that means close with voltage if for example if input 1 get voltage then the relay then relay will assume breaker is open because input 1 we configure OH Similarly, I am going to configure for disconnector. Its input is 3 and 4. Similar to breaker, we are configured for disconnector. After this, I am going to use one user function block. For that, we have to go for library. In Dixie 4 you can able to insert user function block by right click. But here it is not possible. You have to go for library. You can able to see under global Dixie 5 library. Over there first topic you, you will find type on that user defined function is available. Drag and drop over information routing once you drag and drop over here the new user defined function block will be added over here and you can also rename this user defined function according to your naming I am going to make MCB status in this I am going to add 3 SP signal for making MCB R Y B when you right click over here you can able to see add new signal on that SPS is single point signal I am going to add 
similarly three point single point after adding you can rename or you can rename at the sign top of the add new signal you can able to see signal name over the you can also name for your signal like this i am going to make a three sp signal corresponding naming i am going to give mcb or face mcb y face mcb b face For SP point, when you right click over here, you will get normal LH. That means active with voltage or active with low voltage. <laughs> After binary input configuration finish, I move to binary output. In binary output, I am going to configure for breaker open close and isolator open close. Over CB function block, you can see position. Under position, you can see trip command and close command. For tripping, you can able to see unlatch and trip latched. We, you can able to see two point and second one is TL that 
means once you given the tripping pulse it will be continuously giving tripping command and the breaker get open after it get open the tripping command become normal for closing command we don't have any special just it will go for pulse closing but this is open you will not able to find this tl the tl is a special command used for only breaker
Finally, we are going for some revising point in binary input double point single point double point configuration we have OH OL CH CL O for opening status C for closing status H for with voltage L for no voltage 